To get RNA polymerase to bind to the promoter and form the transcription complex requires several different proteins by itself. These are sometimes referred to as promoter proximal regulatory proteins. Transcription factors that bind to enhancers, look what they do. They actually result in bending the DNA or bending chromosomes actually because at this point they're not naked DNA. They may be loose euchromatic DNA but they're still associated with lots of chromatin proteins. So what happens is you bend the chromosomal DNA or the chromatin DNA. Remember that the cap protein in bacteria bent what is essentially naked DNA and, it, and in so doing it loosened up some of the H bonds between the two strands making it easier for RNA polymerase to get in and bind to the strand that it would actually have to transcribe. If you could bend eukaryotic chromatin or eukaryotic chromosomal DNA, you might achieve the same purpose. And that is one of the functions of some of these promoter distal enhancers and their transcription factors. So here's a picture of chromosomal DNA. It's not showing the chromatin as such, but it is, it is showing the DNA bent over in the vicinity of a gene and complex with a whole host of proteins some of which are going to be intimately involved in the actual act of transcription and others which are involved in regulating the gene making sure that it is on and in doing so actually bending the DNA and making it more accessible to the polymerase and other proteins in the transcription complex. So let's take a look. There are a couple of enhancers. They're actually shown as being on, on opposite sides of an entire gene which is not unusual and they are bound to some proteins shown here as well and the effect of binding their transcription factor proteins is to bring those two enhancer regions together in other words to bend the DNA and to interact as well with components of the transcription complex that assembles at the promoters so for example this could be a steroid hormone receptor complex or it could be a phosphorylated transcription factor such as the activated stat protein there's our promoter there's a protein that helps the RNA polymerase situate itself in the right position so that transcription can begin. This protein is called the TBP or TATA binding protein. Remember that the promoter has the sequence in it in most cases of TAA, TAA or the TATA box. And so the TATA binding protein is one that is designed to recognize and bind to that sequence and in so doing allows other components of the transcription complex to assemble. Eventually the last of these is in fact the RNA polymerase. So there's the complete transcription complex. Once the RNA polymerase is on and, and has been modified somewhat, it can begin transcription. All of this would not happen were it not for the presence of enhancer proteins. In other words, this gene would only be active if those transcription factors that bind to the distal elements were actually there and doing this.